picture this. Our typical weekend, Chris and I head out on a hike. We have four dogs together. We have a six-year-old hiking on her own. We have two-year-olds on both of our backs. And I'm 20 weeks pregnant. Woo! I didn't just eat too many tacos. <laughs> <laughs> but I also did. The first person or someone comes hiking by and they tell, tell us, oh man, looks like you guys have your hands full. Oh, I hate when someone says that. <laughs> I'm Carissa. And I'm Kaylee. And we're the sisters and co-founders of Explore. And we're here to offer that hand to families getting outside and remind them that great adventures don't end after kids. Sure, they look a little different. Breastfeeding on the trail, pumping on the side of the ski slope, back country diaper changes. <laughs> Ensuring everyone stays warm, dry, and comfortable. These are the challenges Explore is here to solve. Explore provides 100% merino base layers and mid layers for the entire family to help get them outside and stay outside longer. Explore is first to market with a 100% merino wool nursing top that helps make trail and travel feedings easier. Ooh. So, you're out on the trail, you've got layers on, you've got, ooh, <laughs> and you've got a backpack on, you've got your jacket on. This allows you to unzip, open up, Oh, and I've got an Avon nursing bra on. Ah! <laughs> it's just so much easier to just be able to and not, not lift your shirt up. You're exposed to the elements. It's just, it's just so much easier with a kid. We also, if you're not breastfeeding, that's also no problem at all. We have an adult performance top. These are both sized nice and long to keep backs and bellies nice and warm. We also have the legging which we have a nice wide waistband that's comfortable for pre and postpartum bellies. And we have matching knuckies and hats. This year, we are really excited to introduce the mid layers hoodie and jogger that can be layered over our base layers and are super comfy cozy. Um, judges, we have provided the pricing and margins to all of these products in front of you. Moms love shopping at Explore. Why? Two words, machine washable. They're, all, they're also UPF 50, compostable, and temperature regulating whether it's hot or cold. Beyond our clothing, we provide inspiring content to help parents get outside with their kids, hiking, biking, skiing. We work hard to connect to our market of predominantly women ages 24 to 44 who are passionate about getting outside with their kids. We're here to remind them that no matter what stage of motherhood they're in, we support them getting after it outside. Our team of affiliate moms across the world share how Explore makes it easier for their, them and their families to get outside and stay outside longer. Our products have quickly become must-haves for families traveling and recreating outside. Founders, raise your hands if you know what it's like to ship your own products from your houses, your offices, your garages. Yep. We see you. <laughs> you all need hugs. <laughs> Last year, Chris and I sent over 5,200 units from our office in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We had our kids in tow, boobs leaking. <laughs> and a whole hell of a lot of snacks, thank God. <laughs> this year we are really excited to partner with a distribution center in Salt Lake City. This year we've already sent over 8,000 units and we haven't even hit our highest sales period of fall and winter yet. <laughs> we have also partnered with a female-owned sustainable packaging company that aligns with our mission and brand to help protect the environment for us and our children. Look. Becoming a mom is not easy. One in nine women suffer from postpartum depression. It affected both Kaylee and I. For us, getting outside, reconnecting with that piece of us that loves going big in the outdoors, and learning to travel and adventure with our kids could not have been more powerful or more healing. Our mission is to share that confidence and give that power to other mothers. We could not be more excited. <laughs> to be here today with all of you badass female founders. For us, 
for us, a Title IX partnership would mean some serious street cred. <laughs> as well as the possibility to extend our sizing and colorways and add additional breastfeeding styles. But most importantly, together, we could help more moms get outside. Thank you. I love, love, love all the comfort that's standing up here right now. <laughs> I'm a big fan of comfort. Yes. Um, so when you're talking about your product, a lot of people, you know, who are not in the industry will probably look at what you're wearing and think it's cotton. Are you sharing more about the merino wool? Yes. Um, on our website, we do have an entire page about all the benefits and, and everything behind merino wool as well. It is a little bit harder in the U.S. market. I feel like we're a little behind on getting it. Like, people don't get it quite as quickly. That merino wool is so amazing. But yes, we keep trying to tell that story through our website, our social media, etc. Yeah, and, and there's just a, a lot of research that's coming out around merino wool and how beneficial it is for sleep especially newborn sleep so those stories are so powerful and we're working to get better and better at like educating the u.s um population where in australia like the doula just shows up with a merino wool swaddle and that's not the case in the u.s so yeah, yeah. i think that's working on that education huge for you guys yeah um so your colors they're beautiful Thank how do you, you choose your colors <laughs> it's hard <laughs> um you know, we had some requests this time around. The first time, Chris and I went through and we just chose six colors that we felt really good about that were bright, that we felt like children would love wearing, that adults would love wearing as well. And um, one of the biggest things that we found is our competitors are providing black. You know, I love, I love a good black shirt and whatnot, but we were like, okay, to differentiate, we need to be, have the brighter colors, the other things that people are excited about. Yeah, we call it adventure-ready colors because we don't want to lose our two-year-old in the woods. <laughs> and so you see, we don't really have a, like a, the sage and the olives. And we're, we're, we want to go big. We want, we're bold. And so we wanted to back that up with a bright color line. We have. We actually were surprised. Our, our most popular colors um, last year were the ocean and the evergreen. Those sold out the quickest. So we... Um, carried those we and carried we brought those over. In, um, we tried to go with a more gender neutral raspberry and confuse the hell out of everybody like, so red, now we're full red, pink pink <laughs> and we straight pink um, we do market everything as gender neutral yep hi there hi um, what is of the line what is your best selling line are you finding that people are coming to your brand like the entrance point is through the nursing top or is it in other products yeah we've just started to really so we launched with product in t the beginning of 2020 and we launched with newborns to six years old mm -hmm. and um, so that's how we initially uh, found our market um, and so with introducing the the breastfeeding um, top that has really helped us get you know we were we were, had a lot of um, our market had like two-year-olds now it's more new mothers um, coming into our line, and, which is great because the cr customer lifetime value that we have um, is incredible because they can size up. Again, we have a premature, we even have pre a preemie sizing um, all the way till adult. How are sales, overall sales volume, and are you paying yourselves right now? So um, rolling 12 months, um, we've done over a half million um, in sales. <laughs> and we're, <clears throat> we've been selling out of, well, so inventory planning for the first few runs was same, you know, across the board. Oh, we just get the same of everything, you know, 10 of this and 10 of that, or 50 of this and 50 of that. Um, we know we have two years under our belt now, so we can see, okay, two, year, two years old is going to sell out like that through six years. And our small breastfeeding sets sold out immediately. 
um, where our large, it took a little bit longer to move those products. So we're, we, um, no. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. We have, we have, and we have paid ourselves a little bit, not a ton, um, but it, it I guess our, one of our bigger challenges is making those large purchase orders. So we'll have money in the bank, but it's like, okay, now we already need to be purchasing that next big order. So that, that is the one bigger struggle for us to get. Yeah, we are all bootstrapped in, um, and done. We've done everything through loans so far. So yep. one of our biggest interests in doing a partnership like this is to help offset some of that, um, yeah, Initial capital cost. raise. Um, yep. we've, um, Actually, I loved when you said that there's no rules. So we were like, can we just start selling it? We don't have the products yet. And especially with COVID, that was a huge boon for us. So we just started selling with no product. So we've done a lot of, <laughs> we've done, we've fulfilled a ton of pre-orders. Yes, so we, um, uh, to make, we did get the run in time for Christmas last year and we fulfilled over a thousand orders from a hotel room, um, which you might have saw, and those were all pre-orders that had come in um, over Thanksgiving. It was amazing. That's great, yeah, I love the bold colors too, and I think that's a great fit for Title IX and the yeah. mojo they have, so. Hey. have you done from a marketing standpoint where are you finding your customers and you know what things have you tried that have worked and what things are you thinking about dabbling in yeah so we look at it um basically content and our community and clothing um we create um videos and uh inspirational like content to help get you outside tips and tricks um and we share a bi-weekly newsletter called the weekly summit um, to build our community we've teamed with a lot of affiliate moms um, so through refersion we bring which is an awesome platform if you guys want to check it out but you can bring on affiliates and you can manage your whole affiliate program in there and we've seen a ton of sales um, come through our affiliates um, and then our PR piece is, mm -hmm. is the piece that we have been scared to to really attack um, but we have been published in Gear Junkie and other other places and we're excited to now that we have more tools thanks to Title IX um, to can to really go deep with our PR piece. And um, we also I'm sorry we also do paid ads Google and um, I may have missed it but what percent of your business is wholesale? Um, we have been 100% direct to consumer so far. Okay business. so what's the strategy on the wholesale side? This is definitely new for us. This is our first opportunity to have a wholesale partnership, and we're really excited for that. Um, we also, being located in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, we know that that is like a huge potential to reach so many people that come through Jackson Hole. So we would like to start getting into a wholesale um, wholesale strategy there. There is an REI, um, but we've been reached out to other brands to maybe go in on a storefront together or um, some other possibilities. We have done um, just pop-up shops and those have been very successful, but um, yeah, we're hoping to get into a more, uh, better retail space. Yeah. 